a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Webster Wordsworth. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. There we go. I'll take yours and stand, okay? There we are. Yeah, I think it is. It's time to go home, everyone. Let's go. It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Hello, I'm Webster Wordsworth, magical maker of stories. Would you like to make some stories too? Boing, boing. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> Look at me, Jelly. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. <gasps> Jackson, boing, boing. can you stop <laughs> boinging? You're well, making me feel giddy. But it's fun, Jelly. Boing, che, che, boing. Coole. Oh, che, che, coole. Che, che, coole. Che, coffee, sir. Che, coffee, sir. Coffee, langa. Coffee, sir, langa. Langa, ti, langa. Langa, ti, langa. <laughs> Hello, my little Hello, furry Webster. friend. Oh, Jackson, you're very bouncy tonight. Have you been eating jumping beans? Oh, no, 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 Webster. It's just that I'm sitting on this strange yellow space oh. fellow and he won't keep still. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, it is rather leapy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Jelly, um, you're very quiet tonight. Uh, don't you feel very well? Well, actually, Webster, I'm feeling a bit floppy and oh. droopy. Oh, maybe you're poorly. Oh, let me see. Oh, well, you, you don't feel hot. Oh, perhaps you need a cuddle. <laughs> oh, no, no! I'll give you a cuddle, Jelly! <laughs> no, I don't need... Yes. All right, Jackson. I think I know what Jelly needs. What? She what? needs some yellow. Yellow? <laughs> yes, because when you're feeling floppy and droopy and blue, yellow is very good for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's well for Jackson. Ooh. He's sitting on a strange yellow space. <laughs> He's all zippy and zingy. Oh, that's right, Jelly. <laughs> I am very zingy. <laughs> Don't worry, Jelly. We'll have you back to your old self in no time. But first, what? we need a little bit of magic. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at all that yellow. <laughs> now, now, Jelly, would you like to wear these lovely yellow beads? Um, well, yes, please, Webster. <laughs> there we are. Ah, oh, <laughs> lovely. <laughs> there, you're looking a bit sparklier already. <laughs> Why don't we make a yellow story? I think I'll use this lemon. <laughs> bouncy, 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 <laughs> Good bouncy, idea, bouncy. Jackson. <laughs> yellow lemon, yellow lemon, yellow lemon. Woo <laughs> now all we need is a squeeze of imagination. Yes, thank you. I knew you'd help. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine, imagine a story. Oh, here it comes. Mm. Ah, it's a playbook. And it's called Yellow Breakfast. Mm. Yellow is the best colour in the world. It always makes me think of my favourite thing. The special yellow breakfast Dad and I make just for us. Why is for the yellow yolk that comes out of the cracked eggs. We need two eggs, so that's two lots of yellow yolks. Ah, two shells.
shades of yellow. Dad puts all the ingredients into a big yellow bowl, ready for me to mix them together. E is for the yellow Edam Dad always adds to give that lovely cheesy flavour. Hmm. Al is for the yellow lemon juice which makes it taste just the way we like it. Dad pours the yellow mixture into the frying pan. Oh, I hope it doesn't take too long to cook. The other L is for the loaf of bread Dad slices. It's not yellow, not until I spread it with butter. Then it's as yellow as yellow can be. O is for the yellow omelette sizzling in the pan. Mmm, it always smells so delicious. And it always tastes delicious too. It has that Perfect sunshiny yellowy taste. Mm. <laughs> and W? What is the W for? Oh, it's for the yellow washing up liquid you need to clean all the dishes with. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, Dad. I'll give you a hand. <laughs> there is a lot of yellow food in that story, mm. like the yellow egg yolk yellow. Oh, yes, and mm. the butter and the cheese and... Uh, yeah. Oh, Jelly, mm. you look like a big yellow flower. <laughs> um, that's because I've got a sunflower hat. OK. Here's yours, Jack. Oh, oh, well. Would you like me to put it on for you, Jackson? Yes, please, Webster. Oh, there we are. Oh, what happened to your strange yellow space fellow, my little pink prince? Um, well, he got a bit tired, oh. so um, he's having a rest. Oh. Hmm. Good. Yeah. Uh, do you feel better now, Jilly? Uh, well, actually, Webster, mm -hmm. I feel a little better, mm -hmm. but um, still a bit droopy. Droopy. Oh. Yeah, all that breakfast made me feel hungry. Oh, well, you might feel a little bit sparklier if you have a snack. Oh, yeah. oh look, Jelly, there's a banana for you. Uh, <laughs> um, but it's a very funny banana. Listen. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> oh um, and here's a shaky lemon for you, Jackson. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, well, it's all very good fun, but unfortunately you can't eat them. No. What we need is some real food. Yeah, and I'd like some wibbly-wobbly fruity gobble jelly on a plate, Jelly. Because oh. uh, it's yummy, and mm. that's my name. <laughs> well, let me see. <laughs> My favourite jelly and custard. Yeah. A custard blob for everyone. Okay. Blob. 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 Oh, now who's going to lick the spoon? Me, 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 me. I know. I'll use it to make a story. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> In it goes! And now we need a dollop of imagination. Imagine! Imagine! Imagine, imagine a story! Yeah. It's a Kevin the Spaceman story. And it's called Planet Custard. That sounds gloopy. Kevin and Spanner in space to explore, seeking out planets never heard of before. Kevin had landed his rocket on a new, rather yellow planet. 
It seemed that he and Spanner had been in space for a very long time. They were both tired and extremely hungry. The landing was very soft, and the first thing that Kevin noticed was the delicious smell. Mmm, sniffed Kevin. Custard, my favourite thing. I wonder if there are any custard bones, thought Spanner. But Spanner couldn't smell any bones. All he could smell was custard. He licked the ground and it tasted sweet. Mmm, perhaps he'd look for a bone later. Suddenly, he saw a large, wobbly blob. The custardy blob blobbled. Growled Spanner. A yellow, beady eye appeared out of the custardy blob and looked at Spanner. Blobble! It blobbled loudly. Spanner whimpered and whined at Kevin. What are you moaning about? said Kevin. Spanner was going to explain about the custardy blobby creature, but Kevin probably wouldn't believe him. Kevin's tummy had started to rumble. Spanner knew what he meant. His tummy was rumbling too. As if they could read their minds, two custard blobby creatures rose up in front of Kevin and Spanner. Hello, blubble blubble, said one of the creatures. We can hear two rumbly tummies, blubble blubble. Hello, said Kevin. Uh, yes, we are very hungry. Duck in, then, said the second creature. Well, thank you, said Kevin. Custard's my favourite. Um, have you got a spoon? he asked politely. What is a spoon? asked the wobbliest blob. It's something that we used to eat with, said Kevin. Here we just eat and make a big mess, blobble blobble, the blob replied. Kevin liked the sound of that, and so did Spanner, who never used spoons anyway. Kevin scooped the sweet, sticky custard up into his mouth with his hands. Spanner just licked. It really was delicious, almost as good as a bone. Kevin and Spanner carried on scooping and licking and getting messy until eventually they just couldn't manage another drop. Thank you, said Kevin. That was really tasty. The two blobs blobbled a custody goodbye blobble and just disappeared. Ah, mused Kevin. They just come and go as they please. Maybe we'll meet them again someday. Come on, Spanner, it's time to go. <laughs> just imagine a whole planet made of custard. <laughs> blubble, 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 blubble. Oh, jelly, you're not floppy and droopy anymore, are you? No, hmm. I'm feeling much better now, Jack. Then thank you for letting me have a go on your strange yellow space fellow. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I'm going off for a boing now. Oh, okay. Well, I think I'll have a bit of a shake with my shaky lemon. <laughs> yellow lemon, yellow lemon. Jackson, yeah, my oh. friend. Oh yes, hello. Would you like to play a naming game with me? Oh yes, I like games. Um, can I use my lemon shaker too? Oh, please do. Okay. I'll join you. Here goes. Oh, we can take it in turns. Okay. I'll start. Butter yellow. Cheesy yellow. Custard, yes, pleasy yellow. Lion yellow. Lemon yellow. Sweet and juicy melon yellow. Big shiny sun yellow. Tractor brum 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 uh, yellow. Buttercup. Dandelion. Sunflower banana. banana. <laughs> <laughs> we thought of quite a lot of yellow things, didn't we? Yes, we did. Mr. <laughs> Webster, <laughs> look, I found something else that's yellow. Oh. Oh, yeah, the goodness. children made it. Oh, look, it's the sun. Oh, we could use that picture to make a story. Oh, yeah, a sunny story. Mm. I'm feeling all sunny now. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad to hear that. Mm. Come on. <laughs> Here goes. Sunny picture for a sunny story for a sunny jelly. <laughs> <laughs> now we need lots of imagination to make the story machine work. You'll help us with the magic ingredient, won't you? Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. And it's called Blue Cow and the Sun. Blue 
In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was looking up at the big yellow sun. I wonder what it would be like to follow the sun. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to follow the sun, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for the sunset. And then they arrived. Blue Cow was in an enormous yellow cornfield. Everywhere was shiny and golden. Oh, isn't it beautiful, she said. Oh, yes, it is. So beautiful. Sighed a voice. Blue Cow looked around. Who said that? Me. Said the voice. There next to her was a tiny field mouse clinging onto an ear of corn waving in the breeze. Hello, I'm Blue Cow. Hello, I'm Susan, said the mouse. What are you doing here? I've followed the big yellow sun here. I wanted to see where it goes after it leaves my field. Oh, well, this is the last place you can see the sun before it goes to bed. I watch it every night, said Susan. Ooh, I must see that, said Blue Cow. Oh, yes, do stay. We'll have a picnic together. Ooh. I'll just get some things. And she scurried off. The sky was turning pink on the horizon, but the corn still looked all golden. Susan appeared with a huge basket of food balanced on her head and a blanket. You must try some of the delicious yellow field corn, she said to Blue Cow. And so they sat together watching the sun go down and the beautiful colours in the sky reflected on the corn. So that's where it goes. Yes, and look, said Susan, pointing to the sky. The moon's come up to light your way. You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to follow the sun to bed. Everyone knows cows can't follow the sun to bed. But we know they can, don't we? <laughs> oh, that was so dreamy. Blue Cow and Susan followed the sun to bed. Yes, yes, and they had a picnic. Uh, can we have a picnic, Webster? Oh, not now, my little pink prince. The sun is waking up and it's almost oh. morning. Oh, yes, the children will be here soon. Mm. Yes, my little treasures. Dawn is upon us, mm. the morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you... Goodbye! <laughs> story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story bye bye. Makers, stories are fabulous. Come back and see us soon. Goodbye, story maker. Thanks for helping. Story